So you got yourself some brand spanking new external USB storage from Western Digital. And somebody on the interwebs told you that you can take the hard drive out of it and install it directly into your computer. This could have been me, and for the most part, that's correct. So in today's video, let's show you how to use these Western Digital white label drives in a regular computer. Okay, before you try this, the first thing that you have to do is carefully remove the external enclosure from the box it came in. And don't worry, unless you're smart and decide to test things before you break them, you really don't need to worry about anything else in the box. Then make sure to take your time peeling the protective plastic film off to get that full new electronics feeling that we all crave so much. This is not a necessary step, but it is highly recommended and allowed me to talk long enough to show you this peel porn. After that, I would consider watching a better YouTube channel tutorial on how to remove the drive from the enclosure without damaging the plastics. But if you're like me, YOLO, you're just gonna stab the thing with a sharp object and twist it to make it come apart. Just be careful not to stick said sharp object in the actual hard drive itself. That would be bad. Now that you have successfully removed your brand new hard drive out of its enclosure, you're probably gonna wanna plug it into your computer just to see if it's recognized. Chances are, once you plug it in, your machine won't even be able to see it at the BIOS screen. This is because the amazing people over at Western Digital decided to use the 3.3 volt pin to keep the hard drive from powering on with normal power supplies. I'm sure they have their reasons, but I just don't like them. What I'm talking about here is the third pin from the left on the power connector on the hard drive. This 3.3 volt pin activates a hard reset loop for the hard drive that keeps it from showing up in your computer. Regular consumer drives lack the hardware reset option and ignores this 3.3 volt line completely. And your power supply or server backplate may or may not have this line constantly powered, so you may not even run into this issue. But thankfully though, if you are having issues, this is an easy thing to bypass. Now there are multiple ways to do this, but I'm only going to show the least destructive and safest way. Doing things like removing the pin from the drive, using liquid tape, or even a Molex power adapter could run the risk of completely voiding your warranty or causing a fire hazard. The method that I'm going to use is just simply using a small piece of electrical tape to cover up the third pin. Now you only have to cut it big enough to cover the third pin, but a good thing to note here is that the first and second pins are not required to power the drive. So you can just cut a tape a little bit bigger if you want and cover up these pins as well. This can make things a little easier for you and might even allow it to stick better to the hard drive. Once you're done covering these up, your drive should look a little like this. Again, make sure to cover up at least the third pin. Don't cover up any part of the fourth pin, and if you cover up the first or second, don't worry about it. Now you should be able to install your brand new hard drive in your computer using any standard SATA power supply connections. And since it's no longer stuck in a hard reset loop, you should now see it in your BIOS screen. As a quick demonstration, I have been booted into Windows, found the drive with the file explorer and copied data to it. So I can now use this drive just like any old regular hard drive. If this doesn't work for you, remove the SATA power cable and make sure that the tape didn't fall off during installation. If it's still there and your hard drive isn't being recognized in your computer, you might have covered up the wrong pin. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good day.